The meeting began with announcements and recognitions. Mayor Jeff Bocknight reminded residents that the first city council meeting in October will be moved to October 2nd so that residents can attend National Night Out on October 3rd. Morris Chiropractic was recognized as the winner of the Keep Victoria Beautiful Business Beautification Award for the month of September. And KVB Executive Director Christy Euchre reminded residents to sign up for the fall sweep cleanup on September 9th. The mayor proclaimed September as Hunger Action Month and recognized the vital efforts of the Food Bank of the Golden Crescent to fight hunger in our region. The mayor also proclaimed September as National Recovery Month, recognizing the efforts of Billy T. Catan Recovery Outreach and all those who support the recovery of individuals with mental illnesses and substance use disorders. Assistant Building Official Eli Briseño was recognized for becoming a certified building official after passing a rigorous exam. He is one of two city employees to hold this prestigious certification. The City of Victoria Convention and Visitors Bureau won two statewide Destination Excellence Awards, first place in the Tourism and Marketing Campaign category for the Yule Love Shopping Promotion, and a Peer Award for Community Engagement for the Tacos and Margs Trail. And Assistant City Attorney Ruby Boone was chosen for the Leadership SBOT 2023-2024 cohort. This selective program hosted by the State Bar of Texas empowers Texas lawyers to take on leadership roles. The meeting continued with a city manager report. Council heard an update on the design of the new public safety headquarters and viewed some updated renderings. The architect has finished the design development phase and is currently working on construction documents, which are expected to be 50% complete by the end of October. The project is anticipated to be affected by supply chain issues, particularly electric equipment such as generators, so those parts of the project will be divided into separate bid packages to help keep things moving. Council requested additional discussion on three consent agenda items. Council approved a variance allowing Enchanted Gardens to place a freestanding sign just off the property line. The Planning Commission and City staff recommended approving the variance after determining that it would not cause any issues with visibility or potential roadway expansion. Council awarded the 2023 Sanitary Sewer Line Cleaning Project to National Works, Inc. Public Works Director Ken Gill clarified that the contractor would coordinate with the construction on bin Wilson Street to minimize traffic disruptions, and Council approved a change order to the Ben Wilson Street project to include milling and overlaying on Ben Wilson between Airline and Sam Houston, and on Airline between Ben Wilson and Sam Houston. The project is being funded by UHV, with the city providing project management. Finally, Council approved the budget and tax rate for fiscal year 2024. The $256 million budget includes a $98 million capital improvement program, with $51 million going toward the new public safety headquarters and another $30 million for street projects. Other projects in the budget include bicentennial preparations, phase three of the citywide LED lighting project, and more competitive compensation for eligible first responders and experienced employees, including pay increases for entry-level police officers and firefighter EMTs. And Council approved a tax rate of .4898 per $100 of valuation, which is a decrease of 13% compared to fiscal year 2023. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the rundown. You can always catch the meeting in full online at victoriatx.gov forward slash TV15, on our local cable channels 15 and 115, or on our YouTube at Victoria Tech Texas videos. Catch us on Facebook as well. Sign up for our City View newsletter. And until next time, have a good one.